Hurry up and get out there. Hell's been bitching. I'm late, I know. I think Ron and I just broke up. Oh, no, babe. I love him, Jim. We've all been there. And I do everything I can to make us work, and he just wrecks it all with his jealousy. I don't know, sometimes I just feel like giving up. Don't talk like that, Kelly. Ronnie will come around, you'll see. You're a pal, Jim. Go on, go fix your face. See you later. Birthday suit, would you turn around, Hal? Whose birthday? Damn it, shut up, Kelly. You're making me lose count. Easy on the sauce. I don't want the help smashed. Don't worry about it. Hey, Franny, do you mind? Welcome to the Boozers Club. Kelly. You don't drink. I am tonight.
says it's strychnine poisoning. Strychnine? She's a beautiful girl. How could she do a thing like that to herself? You better book a bed in the intensive care unit. You're watching her closely, Ron. She's been here four days already. When, uh, how much longer? She's going to be fine. I'm discharging her from the ICU today. Get to go home today. Fantastic. Okay, it's not exactly fantastic. But let me get to that. First, I've got this police report to contend with. What do they want? Well, oh, just paper shuffling. They're still investigating. They're calling it a probable suicide attempt. Did she ever try to commit suicide before? Yeah. When was that? A long time ago. She was only 15. Ron, what are you telling him? Somebody tried to... Poison me. I'd. Ron! I'm sorry, baby. It's okay. No, somebody tried to poison me. They tried to kill me. I didn't try to commit suicide. Kelly, come on. Take it easy. Just relax. Easy. I'm. Oh, God, Doc. Oh, no. It's the strictness. Any kind of internal or external oh. stress can cause hallucinations or convulsions. Well, how long is she going to be like this? A day, a week, a month, or what? Depends. Each case is different. Anyway, like I started to say, in OD cases, the law requires observation in a psychiatric ward for 72 hours or more if necessary. Oh! 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 manic depressives, sociopaths, psychopaths, catatonics, no refunds or returns on brain damage merchandise. Watch your step, please. Once the door closes here, it never opens. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies, you know better than this. I will not have you bothering this patient. You all know you're not supposed to be in here. All right, everybody out now. Come on. Disturbance. 
How have you slept? Who are those women? What am I doing no, here? No, no, no. Calm down. Everything's all right here. First things first. How do you feel? my girl. Now, I want you to inhale and take a deep breath. Now, hear this. Now, hear this. Benny, 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 at it again. Now, I want you to take the stethoscope, the jacket back where you pinched them from, and go to your room. And, Benny, stay in Woody's in the last ten years. Who are you? I'm Carl, your uh, friendly psychiatric technician. I'd like to use the telephone. I'm afraid I couldn't let you do that right now. But I am afraid that you're going to have to get dressed because I have to take you to see your psychiatrist. I'm in the wrong place. I don't need a psychiatrist. I know. I agree with you. But Better tell that to him. Come on. Uh, doctor, before we start, somebody here and I'd like to get it straightened out. I don't belong here. Let's talk about it. I'm Dr. Coleman. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Now. Kelly, please go on with what you were saying. Well, I'm not a mental case. I didn't try to kill myself. You think someone poisoned you? Yes, I do. Well, Kelly, the police lab checked out those drinks you had at the club. They weren't able to find the slightest trace of a toxic substance. Well, of course not. Whoever did it must have switch the drinks or something. They wouldn't leave it around for the police to find. Do you think people are out to harm you? Are you trying to say I'm paranoid now? Is that what? That's a good, direct question. I like it. And I'd like to learn more about you. Oh, I'm doing just great, Doctor. Fantastic in school. I love my job. What about your boyfriend? We had a fight. Sometimes relationships just don't work out. Tell me about yours. <laughs> you don't give up, do you? Look, I am doing just fine. Not according to the police report, Kelly. A friend of yours, someone who works with you, said that you'd considered killing yourself. Oh. I was just letting off steam. So those weren't your real feelings? No, not to kill myself. I mean, we all say crazy things when we're upset, don't we? Look, doctor, if I tried to do it, I'd admit it. When you're done writing that, I'd really like to get out of here. Kelly, let me be straight with you. It's my duty to assess your mental state. Now, you've been in the intensive care unit for the past several days under heavy sedation. I couldn't assess you properly there. You can choose to be a voluntary patient here. And if I don't? Then I'll have to write a 5150. Which means I can hold you against your will up to 72 hours. During that time, I'll assess you. Now, once the 72 hours are up, it's a different ballgame. You can't keep me prisoner here. 
I'm afraid I have to. Until I can be reasonably sure that you won't try to kill yourself. Melanie! Get your hands off! Melanie. I don't want you to hurt you. Let me go! Melanie! Let me go! Melanie! I don't want you to hurt me. I'm not doing any more time with no. this stinking spirit. Oh, Quit! getting out the day after tomorrow. So why don't you leave now? Yeah, take a hike. <laughs> uh, psychos only. Gibberish spoken here. <laughs> Perhaps you feel you're among inferior company. Never mind him. Every other word around here is a fight. Crazy houses kind of make people crazy. Kelly, why don't you tell us who you are and what you do? Well, I'm Kelly McIntyre, and I go to college, and I work in a disco club. <gasps> Da, 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 da. Down, Magda. <laughs> so sorry. Who would like to begin? Nurse Hanford, lock me up. What was that, Kathy? Lock me up. I killed Terry and I'm carrying his baby. Look who's a murderess. Sweetheart, you couldn't hurt a fly. A car accident is a car accident is a car accident. What happened, Kathy? Well, a bunch of us got loaded at the beach one night. And, uh, I mean, really, Stone, I tried to put down a couple of times, but Terry wouldn't let me. Why not? <laughs> he always said that he wanted me to be as high as he was. Anyway, Terry got really stoned and passed out in the back seat of the car. I got into the car, and I got behind the wheel, and the next thing I knew, I was, I was going through a guardrail, and I woke up in the ambulance, and, and Terry never woke up. <laughs> so it's Kelly, is it? Hmm? Big K? I was certain I recognized you from somewhere, disco baby. Or should I say, disco whore. Oh, come on. Can't you do something about him? Make him stop that. That man is here only because his father is a physician. Now get rid of him. He killed a man. He should be locked up in the Scoville Hospital for the Oh, my God. Here we go. All right, Derek. The first time you come out of orbit, you fall for a common, ignorant, everyday slut. Nurse. Bastard. Hold it, hold it, temper, temper, temper. This, uh, retarded prick started it. I'll tell you what, why don't we just take a little walk through off, huh? Good boy, good boy.
ってほしい触りくらいのにサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイサイ I think it's a strychnine working on you because it heightens your senses. No, no, he touched me. You know something? When I was in Vietnam. What'd you get? Sixes? Come on, let's see a little fight. Why? Hey, you've got a baby coming. You don't let me keep it. Yeah, the judge says I'm an unfit mother. You need a good lawyer. Huh? How am I going to get a lawyer with no money? And how am I going to get a job in here? And besides, the baby is almost here. When I get out of here, I'll get you a lawyer. I promise. Time for your medication, girls. Would you mind moving the board over, please? By all means, Nurse Hanford. I'd like to use the telephone, if I may. Sorry, Dr. Coleman has restricted your calls. It's for your own good, Kathy. Oh. Kelly? It's just a mild tranquilizer. <laughs> Kelly, could I talk to you for just a moment, please? Kelly, I know that you're just trying to help, but Kathy has to give up her baby. It's a court order. Well, court orders can be changed. I mean, she's not on drugs anymore. I think she'd be a good mother. That is not for you to decide. I don't want you interfering. Understood? Let's get out of here. bunch of things to make me feel good, were you? No way. Listen, we'll figure something out. Don't worry. Oh, God. If only I could keep it. If only I could. I should be getting ready now. Hi. I brought your roommate. Melanie Crawford, I want you to meet Kelly McIntyre and Kathy Burke. Hi, Melanie. Will you help me get situated? We were talking about Kathy's baby, Melanie. Well, when it comes out, you should strangle it with its umbilical cord. Or smother it. Kill it. Before it gets old enough to turn on you and spit and kick you where, where nobody ought to be kicked. shower. <laughs> well, thanks, Carl, but I'm a big girl now. I, I bathe all by myself. Oh, I know that. I know that. But, uh, orders. The hospital's liable if you have a seizure. Staff members strong enough to control you must be present at all times. Uh, look, you go ahead and get into your robe, and I'll wait out here. Okay?
all the time. But uh, you better hurry up because I can't stand around here all day. trying to say, Carl. Nothing. Nothing. Jackie, we we got our jobs to protect, you know? I mean, it's us against them. I'll see you and the staff. Bright and early. like a clear picture of last night's occurrence. I accompanied the patient to the shower room. She became somewhat anxious, expressed displeasure at my presence. I tried to calm her. Once in the shower, I stayed two to three yards from her at all times. She began projecting and acting out a sexual fantasy, yelling at me to stop uh, funneling her private parts in very graphic language. 
Why did you call in a female staff member? I was afraid she's going to go into convulsions again. How did you let her run out of control all over the fifth floor? I had no choice. She became violent. I mean, I would have had to use very, very excessive force. And how is Kelly this morning? Still maintaining her paranoid delusions. I'm not certain at this time whether we're confronting a strict in reaction or an underlying psychosis. Obviously, we can't discharge her today. All right? We'll hold her another two weeks till we can sort it all out. Well, that's it. Back to Locust Land. Oh, Carl. Yes, sir. You know, Kelly's a very attractive young woman. Are you doing any acting out? Acting out? No, sir. I don't get involved with the patients. I've been around too long for that. I'm glad to hear that, Carl. Because if I find out different, you won't just be fired. You'll face felony charges. Yes, sir. I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. I, uh, I was out of line and I admit it. Well, it'll never happen again. Anyway, if, uh, you need anything or... Well, you won't miss anything. All you gotta do is call. Oh, when she wakes up, make sure she takes her pill, okay? You try and get some sleep. They're really nice. It's happiness in a bottle. I was beginning to think that was the only kind. Oh, oh, oh. I'm proud to announce that Melanie uh, at long last is... I miss you. Look what I brought for you. Flowers. Those are your favorites, right? Yes. Kelly, you know, I can't help but think that this whole thing, you wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for our fight. Hey, you don't think I tried to commit suicide? I don't know what to think. Well, I didn't. Listen, somebody tried to kill me. Have you, have you gone to the police? What have they said? Talk to them every day, and a they want to know who would want to poison you and why. Oh, I don't know. Hey, somebody. Kelly, don't get excited, all right? Pretty flowers like that deserve to be in some water. Damn, those smell good. Oh, 
I got almost right. I know, I know. Did you hear me? He almost raped me in the shower. Um, did you hear me? Yes, I know. Well, you got to get me out of here, Ron. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Denton. Uh, Kelly, dear, I think it's time your guest left. Well, right in the middle of a conversation. If we get Kelly. Just... It's okay, and it's for your own good. It's okay, I'm leaving. Good. I'll see you out. Uh, yes, uh, Melanie, we just dropped in to see how you were getting on and have to run now. Oh, oh, I wish you wouldn't. Well, tell me about the children. Oh, they're great, just great. Doreen here is a good little pinch hitter. Doreen's a good little bitch. Oh, come off it, Melanie. I'm sorry. But I couldn't do without Doreen, but I can do without you and your, your sickness all the time. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen, uh, please don't go. Uh, come back and see me soon. I love you. Goodbye, Doreen. Without him, I don't exist. I'm nothing. No, you're not. Melanie. I'm less than nothing. No, you're not. Oh. <sighs> okay, Melanie. Let's go. Where are you taking her? Okay. Just needs a little sleep. Okay, 
Please, change your mind. I'm not going to change my mind, Carl. Just in case you do. Show up. Well, I, will. I know you will.
baby. Get ah. the food. Come on. Ah. Over here, baby. Come on, baby. Ah. Come on, baby. Well, they're very funny, Kelly. Very funny. That's a good joke. I like that. Yeah, I sure did. You know, uh, I got a funny feeling that I might be playing a little joke on you. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Let's go eat. <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's go eat now. Oh, we want some beers. I'm Milky Way and a Mars bar page. Yeah, hurry up. We're all hungry. Come on. Come on. Move it. All right, move just it. keep move talking. It. Okay. You'll be hearing right. from me. All right, don't forget to get in touch with somebody at the outside for me, okay? Melanie, give me your hand. Okay. I haven't seen a cracker jacket in so long. Wow, I've been shot. Look, I got Carl. There goes Kelly. Better get her. Hey, Carl. Right. Oh, Carl, I'm not feeling too well. Stop that car, you son of a bitch! Ron! 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 Why didn't you call me? Let me know. I couldn't. Where are you going? I found Jenny. Jenny? I, I, I escaped. I got to get out of here before. I got to get out of here before Carl and his white coat show up. Honey, let's talk about it. My God, you sound like a shrink. I'm not crazy. Of course you're not. The hospital said. What the hell with the hospital? I'm not going to go back there. Listen, Kelly, don't jump me. I'm trying to help. Now, just hear me out, okay? Maybe, just maybe, this poison is like, uh, you know, mixing things up in your No, I, everything I told you is true. I'm not imagining it. Okay, listen, Kelly. 
What do you say, you and me, just, baby, come on. We yeah. both go down and talk to your doctor. Are you kidding? You'll never let me out of there. What am I standing here talking to you for? Because I love you. I know you do. They're wrong. I'm not suicidal. I'm not paranoid. I know I'm not. You gotta trust me, Ron. I gotta tell you, Kelly, I still think you need professional help. You're in it with them, aren't you? Oh, my God! Oh, Kelly? Let me go! Hey, what? I'm out of here! Kelly. Oh, listen! God listen. damn you, you're in it with them! I'm not listening to me! Let me go! Kelly? I'm back, Mom. Mm -hmm. I didn't make it. You're gonna bounce back, Kelly. You're gonna bounce back. You're a fighter. And you've got lots going for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you tomorrow. But I'm not the enemy. The staff isn't the enemy. Your illness is. Kelly, what are you afraid of? Why won't you at least take a look at yourself? I do look at myself, but you don't. You wouldn't know the truth if it jumped up and bit you on the ass. <laughs> well, I did make it through medical school. You look at what I do, not what I am. I don't blame you for being angry. Happens to patients all the time. But you must be aware that your mind is tuned to an incredibly high pitch right now from the strychnine. The lust, the cruel streak that you sense in people like Carl, right on. But it's occurring out there, on an unconscious level. Don't you see? Carl isn't acting these things out. It's your imagination that's filling in the blanks. Bullshit, Doctor. What have we here? A tasty morsel. So delicate. So frail. So anemic. I hate diet blood. Ah, something more to my liking. Looks to me like hefty plasma. Blah, 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 blah. No, no. Gee, maybe, uh, maybe I should have done my brand though for him, huh, Cal? <laughs> what do you think?
are they taking her? Psst. Kelly, did you talk to any people outside? Oh, no, Ken. I didn't get a chance. I was counting on you. I know. I'm going to get to a phone somehow. Kelly, they're watching you. What's your name? <laughs> Melanie. <laughs> Don't you have a last name? Wouldn't it be better if you left her alone for now? Just relax, Kelly. <laughs> Where do you live, Melanie? Oh, you know. <laughs> no, it's in the records, but I want you to tell me. One, O, oh. Euclid. The numbers, uh, the numbers, the numbers won't come. <laughs> That's not unusual after shock therapy. It'll clear up later. Can you tell me your children's names? Part of your treatment. Do you know why you're here, Melanie?
have some medication. What's the matter? Can't you sleep? Uh, your doctor suggested uh, some hydrotherapy. I don't feel like it. Come on, it's going to relax you. Make you go to sleep. Come on, Kelly. You need to get some rest. It'll be good for you. I just put Kelly in hydrotherapy. Poor kid. She can't sleep. Uh, she's convulsive, you know. She uh, she should be supervised. Oh, no, 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 no. You take care of your charts. I'll, I'll take care of it. Thanks. Like nothing up. Now let's uh, 
Let's go play some games. I like your games, Carl. Eat yours, Carl. What is Carl? What's up, Doc? Got to get out of here, Benny. Now what are you going to do? Listen, if they catch you this time, you may never get out of here. I'm leaving. Are you coming with me? Okay. Okie dokie. Listen, I've got my papers. I'm a certified loony. The worst they can do is send me back here, okay? We're going to make it, too. All right. But, uh, how? waiting for you. Uh-huh. Okay. Bye. Kelly, oh. how wonderful to see you. I don't believe it. When did you get sprung? It's a long story. Did you they tell you I tried to see you, but they wouldn't let me in? Look, I came for my money. Is it okay? Hey, take it. I guess you heard the news. No. They found out who poisoned you. It was Hal. What? It wasn't meant for you. He was after Francine. He put it in her drink. Leave them. 
You better believe it. They're both in the slammer. Francine caught hell skimming from the owners. She was blackmailing him, so try to get rid of her. Look, Jenny, I want to hear all about it, but I have some friends waiting in the car. I'll talk to you later, okay?
sticking around here tonight. Reading one of them nice Mickey Splane books. <laughs> You had to do it, didn't you? What? You had to do it, didn't you? What are you talking about, Derek? Kelly. Kelly. Is she back? I just had to fry her brains. What about Kelly? What, Kelly? what happened with Kelly? What do you mean? What happened to Kelly? What happened well, to Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, Kelly where is she? sleeping. Just calm down now. Listen, Derek. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to get your medicine. And then I want you to go over there and sit here and sit here. Because I don't want to hurt you. Okay? Hello? Get there. Carl? I'll call emergency. All right, Darren, take it easy now. Take it easy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just be still, Carl. Can you lie down, Carl? I beg you, Carl. Oh. Carl. 